Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life for Pets. So today we are gonna do another update video and this one is by request. We've had so many questions on the divided tank and for those of you that may not know what we're talking about, we decided to run an experiment to see if our guppy grass would grow when threaded through the holes in the divided tank. So let's take a look and let's see what's happened. It's been about, I think it's about three weeks now since the tank has been set up. So let's take a look and see just how much it's grown or whether it was a complete fail. So here is a full view of the tank and as you can see, it was definitely not a fail. It has grown like crazy. What is interesting to me is it has grown much more on this side than it has on this side. And I think that's because we do have a window to the right of the tank. And so I think that probably this side is getting a lot more light whereas this one is getting just the light from the aquarium. But yeah, the plants are doing really, really well. Now, I will say that what usually happens when you do a tank like we did, if you didn't see that video, I will leave a link to it. I'll also leave a link to the dividers. In case you're new to the channel, we do actually make these dividers, obviously minus the guppy grass. This was an experiment, but I am so pleased it's worked so well. And the beta fish do absolutely love it especially this guy here now for many of you you did leave name suggestions in the description box of that video for this one because this one didn't have a name this one down here we had already named Picasso so many of you overwhelmingly so said Leonardo da Vinci so that is going to be this one's name and it's going to be Leo for short because I do feel Leonardo da Vinci is quite a mouthful and I probably will never get it right. So I am going to call him Leo for short, but his name is going to be Leonardo da Vinci. So we have Picasso and da Vinci, but getting back to what I was going to say is, Le see, I'm already getting the name wrong, Leo. Leo absolutely loves to lie on the plants right at the surface there. He spends a lot of time just sort of being balanced or perched up there. And this guy also, he loves to swim in and out of it. Now, the plan for this was for it to get really bushy and then we would cut it back. We may even take some of the other plants out. And one of the things that does happen when you do sort of transplant any plant or you're sort of uprooting it which we were specifically with the cryptwenty which we have here and here we did have several of the leaves die back but as you can see it has completely grown back and it's all looking really really good we have had another explosion of shrimp we did take out an awful lot of shrimp and there were barely any left but we do now seem to have an awful lot of these in the tank and our lone trumpet snail who we have had for about two years, a little over two years actually. And he is huge now. We don't see him very often, but you can see him just right there. And Picasso wants to hug the camera instead, but that is our lone trumpet snail. Uh, we haven't got any more. He is an one and only. So as you can see, tank doing really well. I'm so happy that it did grow the way I thought it would. We will eventually, once it grows way too much, we will eventually sell the guppy grass, but we do have the guppy grass on our website, but we only sell what we actually produce ourselves. So it's not there every week. It's usually about every other week, but it does sell incredibly fast. So if it is something that you're wanting, then you do need to get in on it really quickly. So while we're talking about plants, I just wanted to show you this one here. This one has actually grown a flower. I can't believe it. I think in all the time we have been doing live plants, we've only ever had a flower, I think about three times. And so I couldn't believe it when this one here started to grow the stem up where the, the flower comes out. 
and lo and behold we actually have a flower so looks very very pretty in the tank unfortunately it's not really showing up on camera as much as it does like for me looking at it but I guess it gives you the general idea can you also believe guys just look at the size of these bala sharks now when we got them they were tiny skinny little things and now they are almost the length of the largest of the denison barbs so these guys have grown so quickly and we are hoping to at some point upgrade the tank to maybe a 125 gallon so that they've got plenty of room so there you have it as you can see it was a huge success by putting the guppy grass through the divider i've noticed no difference as far as filtration water parameters nothing like that whatsoever uh, there's been no change with those we've just done our regular water changes as normal and thankfully it's worked out so eventually i think that we will sort of trim it back because the idea was was to sort of have like a hedge it looked like a big thick hedge coming down instead of the divider and we might even take it sort of all the way down as well because we did stop sort of there and I am thinking that what when we sort of do uh, a trimming on this that we may actually thread the other pieces into the bottom part and maybe even come up as close as here as well because we did leave this one and I'm thinking that we may just actually also fill in that one as well. It's really funny to us because the video that we showed on YouTube of us actually threading this all into the holes obviously was a time lapse and so that we then put it onto Instagram and to date when this is being recorded and you're not going to see this probably for about a week maybe even two but at the date of this being recorded it had had I think over 105,000 views so I just thought that was so funny that people found it really interesting us threading the guppy grass <laughs> through the divider all right guys there you have it that is the update on this tank as you can see both abaters are very settled in the tank and they don't seem to bother with each other at all i do think that the guppy grass helps with that and like I say, this one here especially, he loves to lie on the leaves. He also does like to lie on the Cryptwenty as well, but uh, he is doing well. His fin still has that chewed bit out in the middle. I'm hoping that he's not going to be a fin biter. Sometimes it can be a habit. And so I am hoping that we can stop that, but we'll just have to wait and see as time goes on. I have noticed that his fins were very white. The front fins were very, very white, and now they're getting like a blue cast, which also does look really nice as well. So he is absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel and would like to see more videos like this, then go ahead and do so. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.